Welcome to Drinks Made Easy. Today we're taking a look at a cocktail by Lee Clark, one of our viewers, who sent us a comment asking if we would make it. Now Lee submitted this to the Difference Guide and they accepted it and published it, which is pretty friggin' cool. It's an old style martini variation called the Amsterdamage. And when he requested it, he uh, got Mike pretty excited. He even thought it was a love letter. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think you might have thought that Lee was a girl's name. Shut up. Hey, it's better than the usual troll comments we get. Well, that's true. To build the Amsterdam, you'll start with one ounce of dry gin, London dry style. Now, Lee said when he first proposed this recipe to Differts, he suggested either vodka or London dry style gin, but they switched it to a Geneva to have more of a connection to Amsterdam, since the name of the cocktail is Amsterdamage. Make sense? Next, we're gonna add one dash of orange bitters, one ounce of triple sec, and one ounce of dry vermouth. Now this is considered a wet style martini. You might be wondering what the heck does that mean? A lot of martinis today are considered dry martinis because there's only a small bit of vermouth in them. But traditional martinis would have a lot of vermouth, sometimes equal portions, and there's lots of different cocktails that play around with that aspect. So that's why this is considered a wet martini. Give it a quick stir. And with a drink like this, this is where the strawing technique really comes in. And if you've forgotten what I've mentioned in the past, strawing is super simple. All you're doing when you're making a drink is you're simply strawing to see where the dilution is and how that's affecting the flavor. If you need to stir it a little bit more, you do so. And then pour it into your glass. And garnish with a little peel of orange that you express over the top of it. Now you might have noticed I didn't stir all that much and that was because I'm using some pretty small ice which leads to very quick dilution. If you have large spheres or blocks, this is a great way to control how much dilution you have in your martini, but in a pinch you can even use ice. And here you have the Amsterdam martini, delicious. Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime we release a new video. And special thanks to Lee Clark for submitting his Amsterdam. -age. If you have any cocktails that you've made or have any requests for beverages, alcoholic or non, that you'd like to see on the show, leave a comment below. Cheers from Drinks Made Easy.